Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Guys, I'm loving this new pet update and I'm going to bring to you today the pet hatch timer glitch. That's right, another glitch has been found and I'm bringing it to you today. So, let's get into today's video. Alright, so the very first thing you need to do guys is be on a planet and call in your animal. Once you do that guys, you can see induced egg is like 22 hours away well we're not gonna wait 22 hours no 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 so what we're gonna do is go into our options menu and then what we're gonna need to do is go down to the network settings and then turn off multiplayer that's right we're gonna turn off multiplayer leave all the rest of the settings the same then what we're gonna do is jump in and out of our ship that's gonna create a save point and then what you're gonna do guys is just completely exit the game all right, so once you're at your desktop, guys, we're going to go over to Steam. And we're going to go go offline and restart Steam. Now, if you are on Xbox or on PlayStation, you can still do this glitch as well. All you'll need to do next is completely disconnect from the internet completely. Just disconnect it. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is change the date and time. So on PC, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, date and time, and then you're going to go to adjust time. And then we need to just turn off some settings. So, for example, we need to turn off the time set automatically and the daylight savings time. Next thing we're going to do is click change. And then we're going to change it for a few days into the future and just middle by with the with the time there. Just a, a minute either side. So, that's fine. Here we go. That's all set. And then we're going to go ahead and reload the game. Alright, so just whilst we are reloading here, I just want to mention that if you are an Xbox or PlayStation, the way that you guys need to do it is roughly the same way. So make sure that you are completely disconnected from the internet. If you're connected via Wi-Fi, disconnect and make sure that you're not automatically reconnecting. Also, if you do have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of your console, just pull that out. And then just change the time and date on your console. It's really, really that simple. So here we go, I think we're just about loaded up here, hopefully in the next few seconds, yep, here we go, fantastic. Alright, so now we are in our complete offline game. So now what we need to do is go into our creature set in here, and we're going to go ahead and call in your tamed animal. Now look at that, induced egg, feeling sad. Okay, all you need to do for that guys is very simply give the creature some food, and then that will start laying an egg. Look at that. Look at this egg, viable egg, fantastic. So, if we want to keep the egg exactly as it is, we can now wait a further 23 hours, which we're not going to, for this egg to hatch. However, what we are gonna do, guys, is take this wonderful thing up to the anomaly. So I'll meet you over on the flip side. Also, jump in and out, create a save point, just in case anything goes wrong. All right, so let's go up to the anomaly. All right, well, here we go. We're in the anomaly, and now we need to go ahead and run to the back of the room because we're going to make a trip over to the egg sequencer. Now, if you have a look right now, you can actually see on my navigational bar at the top, I actually have the egg sign, which means we can go ahead and totally use this. So here we go, egg sequencer, and we're going to go ahead and place that wonderful egg in there. Now, look at all these different options. So if I put in that, you can see the weight and height of the animal will decrease. So each individual item that you want to put in will have an effect of some sort. So put it in cobalt, that will decrease in this particular animal. So we're going to scroll down. I want to try and find something that's going to increase it because I want this thing to be huge. So let me have a look. Hmm, what can I pick? So hang on, let's put in some oxygen. There we go, boom, oxygen. So oxygen increases the weight and the height. If I put in something else on this one, which is the gene splicer, it's going to give mixed results, which is absolutely incredible. But look at that. It says overdose by 150%. Ooh, I wonder what that actually means. So here we go. We're just going to pick some random item here. Maybe that one. I don't know what to do. This is like just so like different. So here we go. Maybe... Uh, let's pick... Okay, let's let's pick that. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put that in. It's it's overdosed by 150%. I'm literally pumping all the kind of steads into this animal. Absolutely incredible. This actually reminds me 
of like Jurassic Park where in the laboratory and they go ahead and make new dinosaurs. It kind of reminds me of that. So, I mean, this is kind of one of those things where you can completely customize an animal. So once you put in all the four things that you want to use to modify it, you just press begin and then it gives you a new egg that's then ready to fertilize in another like 23 hours. However, another thing that you can do, if you haven't already completely steroided this animal up already, another thing you can do is turn around, go back to the egg splicer, use that same egg that you've just modified, and you can do it again. Look at that. <laughs> so, I mean, look at that. So you can do it all over again. So this, this guy isn't going to know what's, what's hitting me. It really isn't. So... Here we go. We're going to go ahead and just kind of pick some, some random items to put in again. Now, another thing to note is once you do this the first time, you will unlock a new character sign, a new emblem that you can use within your name. So, for example, I think it said Gene Splicer then. So, it will be Professor Cynical Gene Slicer or Gene Slicer Professor Cynical. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that later on. But look at that. We've just modified that egg again. Now, this time it says very large and gentle. So, I'm making a big fluffy teddy bear. I don't think it's going to look anything like a big fluffy teddy bear. But, oh my god. Now, again, it's going to take 20 something hours for this egg to do its thing and hatch. However, again, we're not going to wait that amount of time. So, what we need to do is jump in and out of our ship one more time. Here we go. That's going to create a save point. And then we need to go ahead and completely exit out of the game. So here we go. Options and then quit to desktop. All right, guys. So once you're back at the desktop, again, all you need to do is just adjust the date and time. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it to a couple of days ahead in the future again. Just mess about with the time. Click change. And then we're going to go ahead and reload our No Man's Sky. All right, so here we go. We're going to go to play a game. As you can see, I'm already a few days ahead in the future from the last save. That's fine. Reload that save. Now, just remember, if you are on Xbox or PlayStation, then all you'll need to do is still remain completely offline, guys. And then we just need to go ahead and adjust the date and time settings again within your actual console, if that makes sense. If you do have any bother with this glitch or if something isn't working for you let me know in the comment section down below i'll try and help out the best as i can or other people will be able to help out with you so one big community one big family that's what i like so here we go guys i'm not editing this part out at all i just want to show you this for the first time so here we go i'm even losing my voice i'm not excited here we go we can hatch the egg and we can hatch it in the anomaly oh my god look at that <laughs> That is incredible. Wow. Nyosta. Nyosta, whatever that is. Is that a Russian name? Oh my God, look at that thing. It looks incredible and we can customize it. That is right. We can customize it. It's just like a little baby creature at the minute. Nice. Oh my goodness. So there you go, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, this is working right now on no Man's Sky, I want to say it's 3.16, the update patch files aren't out yet, so we're not incredibly sure what the actual patch number is, but I'm going to call it 3.16, it's working. Oh, and if you look at that, if you feed it, it grows. Look at that, it's already grown quite a bit, it's actually got spikes coming out the back of it. Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm just going to like spam the feeding just to see if it grows any quicker. Unless it's growing at a set rate, I'm not too sure, but oh my god, I'm just loving this animal so much. So much love for the animal. Here we go. Now guys, just remember, before you go ahead and put everything back online and do everything else you want to do in Norman Sky, remember one incredible vital thing right now. You need to do this. You need to go ahead, jump in and out of your ship. It's so important. If you jump in and out of your ship right now, that's going to create a save file for the game. Then everything that you've just done is then completed the glitch. It's going to save it. So make sure, guys, incredibly important, save the game. But wow, guys, I'm just so, so excited right now. I really, really, really am. So here we go. Just to show you, jump in and out, save the game. Boom, that's it. So as always, guys, that's everything from me here today. 
And my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.